Hi there, I'm Ashley Bredemus with Friends of the Boundary Waters Wilderness, and today we're gonna to talk to you about what to expect on a Boundary Waters trip. So if you're thinking about going to the Boundary Waters or preparing for your first trip, you probably have a lot of questions. How will I get water? Are the mosquitoes really the size of birds? Are there bears just everywhere? Of course, the best way to get the answers is to go out there and experience it firsthand. Paddling and portaging. Paddling can be hard work and portaging can be even harder, but trust me, you'll learn to love them after a little while. Before you're set out, remember there are various ways to enjoy the Boundary Waters, and many times the biggest rewards come from stepping outside of your comfort zone. You'll be surprised how much you'll love a buggy half-mile portage by the end. Be prepared for bugs. Bringing bug spray and a bug net will help you have an enjoyable time. You could get out on the water, and there there's less bugs. Bears and other wildlife. Black bears make their home in the Boundary Waters, and unfortunately, many know that humans carry a lot of tasty food with them and are not shy about walking into any occupied campsite. The best way to keep bears and other critters from disrupting your camp is to make sure your site is as uninteresting as possible. Clean up after yourselves. Store food in a way that locks away the scent and doesn't make a mess. If a bear does come into camp, don't run. Stay your ground and make lots of noise. Let the bear know you're here and they will most likely run away. Of course, you'll also probably want to find a new camping spot. Lots of unfamiliar noises. Keep in mind that sound carries over water. If you're camping on a calm night, you'll hear lots of noises, which can really freak you out. A duck flapping its wings on the other side of the lake can sound like it's right outside your tent. And then the chipmunks or birds in camp can sound like bears. And if you've never heard a beaver slap the water, with its tail, the sound can be terrifying. There's nothing to be worried about, it's just unfamiliar sounds. Other people. You'll probably run into other people when you're in the Boundary Waters. They're out here for the same reason you are. Sound travels over water, so keep noise to a minimum. Start early and camp early to ensure you get a good sight. Rain and weather. Rain happens, and sometimes the wind will prevent you from paddling. But there really isn't any such thing as bad weather. Rainy days are ideal excuses to drink extra hot chocolate or cup of soup packets. And if you're stuck in a tent, gin, rummy, and 500 are great reminders of how much fun people had before Wi-Fi. Finally, every trip is different. So no matter how well you prepare, you're bound to discover something magical and new when you're out there. <laughs>